It has been a bittersweet day for Katie family. Today was graduation day at U of H for their son, Renzo Alano Flores. Sadly, he wasn't there to walk the stage because he was killed three months ago. But Lauren Tallarica shows us how his family and class still honored his hard work. Let the processional begin. You've seen this all before. The pomp and circumstance. The excitement to watch someone you love who's worked so hard earn their college degree. It's been tough. But among this joyful crowd, we take it day by day. A row of faces who don't quite know how to feel as they wait for the name Renzo Alano to be called. He was ready to conquer the world. Big brother Juan says Renzo was the baby of the family, the one with a big smile and even bigger dreams of getting his college degree. But in February, at just 24 years old, he was killed, deputies say, right down the road from his home by a drunk driver. You know, we still got that bitter, bitterness that uh, she's not here with us. It was tough walking in here today. I needed to do this for him. And tough as Juan Where did I go? nervously took the stage in his little brother's place. Juan Alano will accept the degree on behalf of Renzo and his family. At the beginning, I didn't know what to do. And then out of the blue, I just felt like a strong wind from behind. And I started walking. I was just imagine him being the one that he was walking. We we're very, very proud of him. But I know he's watching from above. Watching from above with a smile. Oh, happiness and heartache all at the same time. That was Lauren Tallarico reporting, by the way. The woman charged in Renzo's death, 22-year-old Ileana Zepeda, is still in jail tonight on a $1 million bond. At the time of the crash, she was already on bond for a previous DUI.